guys, Karkuka here, mostly known as T-O-R-O-B, and this is my voice. Yes, I'm doing a voice review right now, and this is a FL Studio mobile tutorial about how to make a Sparta Remix Chorus. Chorus? Chorus? However you pronounce it. Okay, so step one is to click on this button. Click this button on the right, or well, the top right, uh, top right actually. Then click on new, then empty, and then, okay. There's the song name. If you wanna change the song name, change it if you want. If you don't want to do that, change it later. Wanna change it later? I don't do it, I don't care. Okay, now click on the plus button, then um, slicer. That there here are some example like file, files that you can use. Yeah, these are slicer drums. We don't need this actually. Okay, we'll do this again. Then if you have any like custom files, then click on anyone you like to use. For example, I'm gonna use I this one. Okay, so click on the arrow on the right, then rate the sensitivity slightly slider here, the slicer. Wait, what? I'm sorry, I'm kind of nervous here. This is the first time I really I'm revealing my voice, so yeah. Raise the sensitivity slider here to 100. Then click on the mono button. If the, if it, if it if it's on white, then it's on. If it's not on white, then then it's off. Then click on sustain here, and then on hold. Okay, now you get you get rid of this. Then click click on the thing here, and then edit. As you can see, we have some notes. That are individual that are individually sliced. Hence, that uh, this tool is called a slicer. <laughs> Which is really cool. Then click and delete this since we don't really need it. Then I'll create. Okay, so follow this path really carefully. <laughs> Because you might miss something. Do this. Hold on, let me just. Great sound, okay? Follow these patterns, by the way, because yeah, they are kind of important to this chorus. Chorus? Uh, how do you pronounce it? I'll search on Google later. I'll, I'll see. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, now the second part. Okay. Hear the finished part. Okay. Yeah, it sounds great. And yeah, that's, that's it. There are more Spur Mix patterns that you can pretty much recreate on your own. Well, you can actually use the FL Studio for PC to, ex to export a MIDI from export a MIDI of like one of the Spartan Mix patterns, and you can put them to FL Studio Mobile, which is really cool, since FL Studio Mobile is actually built into FL Studio PC, but this is an individual app, so yeah, it works differently than the PC version. 
And that's it for the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it, and I hope this is helpful. Okay, goodbye.